Jump Force's Light Yagami and Ryuk were in quote too strong to be playable, said producer Koji Nakajima. Mm, that doesn't seem right knowing we have planet and galaxy busting characters on the roster. In this video, we are talking about a possible playable Light Yagami and Ryuk. Why I think in Jump Force Season 2, they will be playable in some sort of capacity. Next. Hey yo guys, your favorite Kage, Enigma Kage, bringing you yet another video. I hope all is well. We finally reached 4K mark and I'm truly thankful for that. Thank you for the continuous support and let's get this video to 60 likes. 60 likes greatly helps the channel in more ways than you can think. So let's just jump right into the video guys. So with all this extra time we all have, I've been trying to figure out actual reason to side with Jump Force producer Koji Nakajima on his statement he made in 2018 about Ryuk being too strong for Jump Force roster. I'll link that article in the description for those who might be interested. Anyway, according to Koji, he basically said if Ryuk used his book, the opponent would instantly die. Mm. Last I checked, any saint burning their cosmos should wipe the field clean, but I guess that doesn't count, right? You also have Goku on a roster throwing hands with Ryo, a regular human, so I don't know. So the reason I believe Light Yagami will be a playable character in some sort of capacity has a lot to do with the story mode ending with him gaining access to the Onyx Cube. Light's plan all along was to get his death note back. Everything he does is well calculated. Since Jump Force is an anniversary game, we know Season 2 has been data mined to be on its way soon. It's safe to say they will somehow finish the story out. I'll have a mock-up season pass later this week in another video. You guys don't want to miss that. The pass is believed to have 5 playable characters and one of them is Shoto Todoroki from My Hero Academia. So Bandai and Spike is willing to spend money for the licensing of all these series but the one series that played a huge role in the story mode isn't represented outside the single player experience? I don't believe that at all. I really don't want to go on and fantasize about Light's moveset. But just so you guys are aware, Light and Ryu has played roles in Jump Superstars, Jump Ultimate Stars, Weekly Shonen Jump Stadium, and of course Jump Booty Heroes. So, those other jump crossover titles with the exact same license and found ways to make him in a fighting role, but somehow Koji Nakajima can't figure it out? Nah. I have a strong feeling that if, now mind you, if they opt in to finish the story and not just give us five characters, like and Ryuk will have a playable role. The way I see this working is them adding another original character. But if I was them, I would have Death Note's artist Obata design it. This way, it wouldn't technically be Light and Ryuk fighting, but a whole new character from the aftermath of the Onyx Cube. Remember guys, they do not have the Death Note. So Koji Nakajima using that Death Note concept to say, oh, well, they, you write the name down, they'll die. They don't even have a Death Note in this game. They're trying to get it back. So this is a great role for you, the new director, because that's what your character becomes after the story, to find a way to stop Light Yagami from gaining access to the Death Note. No one's going to wait two to three years from now for you guys to have a Jump Force 2, because it's an anniversary title, to finish the story. I think it could work. What is your thoughts? In the comment section below, do you believe that Light and Ryu were too powerful for the fighting portion of the game? And if not, how would you make it work out? What would you do to make them playable? Don't forget to drop a like and share this to a friend. As always, I'm Enigma, signing off. Peace, guys.